go ahead and type in the IP address of your processor on the top uh, to log in username and password is admin admin once you're logged in head over to the settings tab and then go ahead and click on the firmware update and we will see our existing firmware right now is version 1.2.1 all across the board the first thing I like to do is check on our start website download the firmware and go from there so let's go ahead and over to Novastar's website go over to downloads processors and I got the H5 here click on the firmware it's, we can see it's 1.3.00 so it's gonna take a minute to download and the best thing to do on this uh, particular firmware is leave it zipped and just browse the zipped file once it's all downloaded uh, we're gonna go back onto our processors tab click upload and I'm gonna go to my documents is where I saved the file and we'll go ahead and select that data H uh, version 1.3.00 zip file and click update all and it's gonna ask you do you want to update all you can click OK or cancel if you wanted to do selective uh, uploads you can obviously select there uh, by clicking the little check boxes so you only select the cards that you need to but I'm gonna go ahead and do update all in this case now this process right here takes about 20 to 30 minutes depending on how many cards you have in the processor itself uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up real quick here as you can see on the right hand side there right now it's all at 0% but you'll see here quickly it's gonna start increasing from 0 to 100 on every single one of those lines it might not happen in the exact order that you're expecting in but it tries to do all the input cards at once, all the output cards at once, and then multi-viewer card, control card in a group. So right here we can see that uh, happening. As soon as it's done, it's going to go ahead and reboot the processor. Now I lost the network connection there. You can see up on the top, um, as soon as it doesn't connect anymore, it's going to go ahead and reboot. It will take a few minutes. Uh, don't try to rush this process. It's going to reboot on its own. It will take a little longer than normal to reboot for the first time on the new firmware. And as soon as it's uploaded uh, and boots up, go ahead and log back in again. And with the same username and password being admin admin, unless if you've changed it, of course. And then as you go into it, uh, you can go back from the settings tab into the firmware tab and check and make sure that every single thing has been updated to 1.3.0.0 or whatever your version might happen to be.